Yo, welcome back everybody. Hopefully everybody's enjoying Gotham Knights. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out all the customization options that are available initially when you buy the game. Now, depending on what version you bought, if you got the visionary pack, some of these options are available at the start or they're gonna be unlocked later. But either way, we only have two ways to customize your character. We can change a couple of the pieces for the parts or for the suits that you have the blueprints for, or we can apply the transmogs in which you can't change any piece or the colorway. Now, if you did get the visionary pack, you do have two blueprints. You got the basic one and you got the beyond one. So we're gonna look at the customization for both of those. And we're gonna take a look at all the transmogs for all four characters and the bat cycle. So if you enjoy the video, yo, be sure you hit that thumbs up. If you're enjoying Gotham Knights, be sure you hit that thumbs up. But starting off, we got Robin first. Now, each one of these uh, suits, I guess, that you have the blueprints for, you're gonna have four pieces with three different items or three different styles for each one. And then quite a few different colorways. You unlock four, again, if you have the visionary pack. I'm not sure about the regular pack or not, but uh, we're, you can at least look at all of them. But first up, we got the boots for Robin. Uh, three different boots. Now these aren't the exact same boots for the beyond. So I'm going to assume that each one of the suits that you do unlock by crafting, you have to find the blueprints. And once you do craft it and you do have the blueprint for it, each of the pieces are just a little bit different. So these gloves, these boots, these symbols don't quite look the same on the beyond customization as they do in this one. So these are the three different pieces for each one of the basic ones. And then we go over to the cow. And right now, like I said, we only have four different colorways that we have unlocked. And it'll be interesting to see, you know, how to unlock each of these. And if I do unlock one of the colorways, is it unlocked for all four of the characters? Same with the suits too. If I find the blueprint, for one, is it only for that one character or is the blueprint available for all four of the characters? All of those will certainly be interesting to find out. So that was all the customization on the stock suit. Now, uh, like I said, you do have the Beyond suit, which also has customization. So each one of these does have four pieces that you can customize three different ways. And, uh, you know, each piece is just a little bit different, not the same as the stock suit. So we got the boots. We got the gloves, we got the symbol, which is kind of nice. I mean, I like that it's different for each one of them. So that's kind of cool. We got the cow. I, I like his hair in this one, you know, nice shaved hair. And then a uh, full face mask. That's pretty cool. And then the colorway for each of these. Now, um, this also is a transmog. So if you don't have the suit unlocked when you buy the game and didn't get it in the pack, it's also available in a transmog, except the only problem is, is that you can't customize transmogs. You can only customize the blueprints. Now, is each one of the suits that's a transmog, is that going to be customizable? And are you able to find the blueprint for that? Um, I would like to hope so, but uh, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Either way though, that's the customization for Robin for the two suits we have. And then for the transmogs, these are the ones that even though I have this transmog unlocked, I don't have the blueprint for it. Therefore, I can only wear it, but I can't customize it. So then uh, 15 different suits, which is kind of nice. Lots of customization, which is cool. The Titan, the Eternal. A lot of these suits look amazing. I love them. Year one is a set that is amazing. I love that one. Noir is kind of nice. I like the hairstyles too. The hairstyles are different in each one of them. Demon looks awesome. Privateer. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Not going to lie. Even though, uh, I don't know. It just looks so unique to me and so like old school. So, I don't know, buccaneer pirate from like the 1600s or something like that. It just looks really cool to me. Then we got the metal and then this is the transmog that we do have the blueprint for so therefore we can customize it the night ops one looks amazing love that shinobi another really good suit all of these transmogs are the same with each of the characters but obviously depending on the character it's going to look a little different night watch is another good set 
We got Talon. Talon is pretty sick. And then the last one, we got Knighthood, which is another really good one. All right, now we got Batgirl starting off with the basic suit, the basic skin or whatever you want to call it. Um, the three boots, and then we'll jump over to the Beyond one and look at all the different customization for that. Three different boots, three different gloves, three different symbols. And then the cow. I like, uh, I actually really like Batgirl's basic suit. I think her suit looks really good. I don't really like Robin's as much. He has a lot of really good transmogs that obviously that, you know, I want to get the blueprints for. But uh, his basic suit is okay. I mean, I think all the other ones I probably like a little bit more. Tribute Slade looks really good on that suit. I like that one. Uh, Cobra looks amazing with that suit. Drake, Grayson, and then Todd. And then we got our Beyond suit. So same thing. We're going to start off with the boots. And these boots and gloves do look pretty similar to Robin's. I mean, the suit is pretty similar for all four of the characters. So they might be very similar in um, style. Yo, I like that. That, that looks pretty sick. Reminds me of Destiny. But uh, at least with the Beyond suit, a lot of the pieces look very similar between Robin and Batgirl so far. Yo, Frost. These colors look good. I really do hope that at least over time we get more customization, more gear pieces. Uh, the gear pieces also change for each of the characters just a little bit. So when you craft, like, say, for Nightwing or for Robin, like in his bow staff, you can customize each of those and, well, not really customize it, but but get better pieces. And it does change it just a little bit. But uh, looking at the transmogs, New Guard, Titan, I love this set. The Dark just looks so nice on the Titan. Same with uh, the very last suit too, Night 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 Guard Night Watch. I think the Night Watch one. Yo, her hair on here looks amazing. I love the Year One suit. Her hair in this one looks really good. It's like the only one in which she has short hair. Ponytail looks pretty cool. It's really hard to pick like which one of these suits is my favorite, but I think I still go towards the Privateer. I really do like the Privateer one. Beyond, which is, again, the one that we can customize. We got the Night Ops. Shinobi. It's really cool. Night Watch. Amazing. And like I said, I don't know for a fact that each one of these is going to have a blueprint and that you can customize it. It just what it appears being that we can customize the beyond one. All right, now we got Red Hood. Start off with the boots. And uh, in case you were curious, you know, we have talked about it in other videos. I couldn't decide between if I wanted to start with Robin or Nightwing, but I did choose Nightwing. So that is the who I've been starting with and doing all the cutscenes with. We're going to hopefully get through it put together the videos and stuff with each one of these characters then we got the cow and then uh each of the colorways there's not really a whole lot at least as far as red hood goes that changes with his basic suit but a lot of his transmogs and stuff look amazing that is for sure but that's i don't know i i i I think I'm okay with that though. Like his basic suit is basic. With each of the characters, their basic suit is pretty basic. Yo, the Grayson one looks really good on this. I love that blue. All right, then we got his Beyond suit right here with the boots. And these pieces, like I said, you know, with Batgirl, they are very similar. You know, the third one always has the blades on it. The second one looks pretty sim similar. The symbols with each one of these look pretty similar. The cow, 
That looks a lot different than the other two, at least. Like, he doesn't show... He still doesn't show any of his face for these. So that's cool. At least the mask is different. Yo, the Bravo one on here looks awesome. Yo, Charlie. That color looks sick. This suit looks really actually looks really good on Red Hood. I will have to admit, the first two, Robin and Batgirl, I haven't really been too much of a fan of it. At least not one of my favorite suits, but on Red Hood, it looks really good. Yo, that, those colors on the Cobra, man. That looks really nice. Tribute Asylum looks good. Zernar looks good. Drake, Grayson. I love that bright blue on Grayson. All of those look really nice. And then we got Transmogs. New Guard. Yo, the Titan. The Titan suits look amazing. Eternal. Red Hood got a lot of good stuff, man. Like, he almost makes me, like, it almost makes me want to play as Red Hood just for the, the suits that he has. Just because they're so good. Yo, this demon one is amazing. I love, I love his mask. How it looks like it's bandages that go over his eyes. Looks like an old, like, samurai. Yo, <laughs> yo, the privateer one looks sick. I love it. We got the metal, and then there is his Beyond, but we already looked at all those. Night Ops, Shinobi. Nightwatch. Nightwatch is one of my favorites. Privateer, Nightwatch, Shinobi. Y'all are going to have to let me know in the comments, out of all the suits, you know, what is your top two, top three out of all of them. Nighthood looks really good. And then finally, we got my dude, Nightwing, starting off with the boots. And then the gloves. I really like his gear too. I I've, I've, I've really been pleased with even his basic stuff, I think looks pretty nice. Symbol. Cow. And then all of the different colorways on it. I don't think the colorways look quite as good on this one. Especially comparing it to the Red Hood. I think the Red Hood one looked amazing as far as the colors go. Cobra, Court, the Asylum, Drake, Todd, and then Gordon. And then we got the Beyond suit now, three different pieces. The boots, uh, as far as um, this suit goes. I think the second one is probably my favorite out of all of them. I think for each one of them, I think the customization option for the second one is probably my favorite. Except for the mask. Like, the cow on the last one looks really good. I really like that one. He definitely looks like a ninja. Yo, all these, all these colors look amazing. The Cobra looks so good to me. Yo, Tribute Asylum on this one looks really nice. That blue is so dark and the blacks are so dark. Yo, the Todd one looks amazing. Gordon. And then we got the Transmogs. New Guard. So when you start the game, at least with the suits that I have, you know, we do get the new guard one, which is what the third one. We have the first one, which is the original suit. Year one, dude. I like that suit. Noir looks good. Oh, we haven't even been going left and right. So let me go back and, and do that real quick. Left and right of each one of these. Yeah, the Titan one looks amazing. The uh, Eternal one looks good. I think Nightwing has a lot of good ones. I like his long hair in that. And then his short hair in this one with the Jason Todd haircut almost. The demon one for Nightwing looks amazing. Privateer too. Nice long hair. Metal. The Beyond, which we've already uh, checked out. Night Ops. Shinobi. Super long hair. 
And then Nightwatch, nice, nice little tight leotard right there. And then the Talon. And then finally we got the Knighthood, which does look good. Now, as far as the bat cycle goes, we only have two different bat cycles. And so, uh, yeah, you do get one of them extra. Not sure how you unlock it if you don't buy the pre-order or if it does. I, I don't know if the game comes with the other bite, bat cycle if you don't pre-order it. But either way, 31 different colorways for each of these same colors on each of them. Same 31 colors. And it doesn't have any other options that seem like there's other bat cycles to unlock. So hopefully we get more, you know, later on with DLC. I love that lime green. The lime green one looks really good to me. I think that one and then probably one of the ones towards the end is my favorite. At least as far as the colors go on here. All black looks kind of nice. This one, this purple and yellow one looks really good. It doesn't look as good on this cycle. That's pretty bright right there. But it doesn't look as good on that one, but uh, it looks amazing on this one. And this is the one that we get with the pre-order pack, with the visionary pack. Or maybe just pre-order. Maybe this, this cycle is a part of the pre-order. But like I said, if you don't pre-order it and you buy it after the game already came out. I'm not sure if you get the bat cycle or how they, you know, you're supposed to unlock it. Lime green one, again, one of my favorites. It's the lime green one and the second to last one is probably my two favorites. That one looks really good though. I like the ones that have just the different colors because all the different pieces being able to just you know see the difference between the two pieces or all the different pieces this one the black purple and yellow looks really good anyways let me know in the comments which of the suits are your favorite and hopefully we can get some of the blueprints for some of these other suits so i can show you the customization on all of those as well and like i said i i don't know if you know they're going to be unlocked for all four of the characters once you find a blueprint Hopefully they are and you don't have to do it individually, but I guess we'll just have to see. Same with the colorways. Not sure how you unlock all of them or if you have to unlock them with each individual one. The mods are going to be pretty cool. We'll have a video out for that as well. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, hit that sub button because you know we're going to be making a lot more. Certainly a lot of fun right now. It is 4 a.m. in the morning and we're still going. But either way, though, I will see you all next time. Y'all take it easy. We are out. Peace.